In today's video, we have a release confirmation of yet another PlayStation 4 game. It is a free-to-play game, and yes, it is a Battle Royale, so be excited for that. A highly anticipated HD remaster collection has its release date confirmed, and that collection will be setting the table for the third game in that series. And speaking of remasters, if you're using Amazon Prime to enjoy a 20% discount on re-releases and remasters, well, that is coming to an end. We got more details on Cyberpunk 2077's gameplay mechanics, and EA will be publishing a game with a lot of potential. More on that in a little bit. First, let's talk about yet another confirmed free-to-play offering that is coming to the PlayStation 4. Yes, it's a Battle Royale game, and it is Realm Royale, a game by hi res Studios. It's already out on PC, but it has been gaining a lot of traction over there. While definitely not as popular as, say, Fortnite or PUBG, Realm Royale has its own fan base, and it seems like that fan base is continuously growing. It was confirmed exclusively to PlayStation Universe from the high res PR team that they do intend to bring Realm Royale to consoles, but they don't have a timeline at this point. To let you guys know, as I mentioned, Realm Royale is already released on PC, but it is an early access, so I imagine the time it releases on PlayStation 4, because they usually like their games to be finished products, that Realm Royale would have transitioned out of early access from Steam, so we're still probably a little bit of a ways out before the PS4 release, but yet another Battle Royale offering on the PlayStation 4 will be nice. Fortnite has been gaining a lot of popularity over there, H1Z1 as well, and Realm Royale does have a different look to it. It's set in the Paladins universe, and the game features four different classes in Warrior, Mage, Hunter, and Assassin. They all have their different abilities and unique quirks, and fundamentally, it will be following your typical Battle Royale formula. So expect Realm Royale to be hitting PlayStation 4 at some point. We don't have a timeline yet, but I would imagine that this would be an early 2019 game if I had to speculate, but we will keep you updated on that. For surviving in the realm is how you use the forge. As you travel through the world, you'll encounter chests containing valuable items. These items can be equipped to strengthen your character in various ways. Armor will increase the amount of damage you will take before you are downed, and potions will heal your health or restore your armor. Abilities will supply you with new options to traverse the map or influence the battlefield, and weapons will affect how effective you are at dispatching your enemies. When you find an item you do not want, you can disenchant it for shards. You can take your shards to the forge to craft the most powerful items, such as legendary armor and abilities. Legendary items are much more powerful than their common- Next up, Shenmue 1 and 2 HD Remaster is coming, and now we've got an official release date for the collection. It'll be coming on August 21st, 2018. Now, Shenmue 1 and 2 are two very iconic games, but I have to say that if you're an absolute newcomer to Shenmue, you really have to be open-minded with these games, because while Shenmue 1 was a technical juggernaut when it was released on the Dreamcast, bear in mind, it was released on the Dreamcast back in 1999. This is a game that back then visually was absolutely stunning, but now in 2018, these games have not aged all too well. However, they are very story driven and those stories were very good. And considering that Shenmue 3 is on the way, it always irked me for a little bit. Why are we getting Shenmue 3 when there's this new generation of gamers that have never played Shenmue 1 and 2? Well, now we got this HD remaster collection and that'll be fantastic. They also did release a Shenmue 1 and 2 pre-order trailer. And if you do pre-order the physical release of the game, you'll also receive a special double-sided poster and a reversible cover so that's pretty cool as far as the release of Shenmue 3 it looks like that game will be released sometime in 2019 but for now you can catch up on Shenmue with the Shenmue 1 and 2 HD remaster collection on August 21st father no Speaking of remasters, here's something interesting that Amazon Prime is doing. Actually, not all too interesting. It actually really sucks. I'm sure that many of you guys have an Amazon Prime subscription to enjoy your 20% off on new release games. And while you're still going to be able to save 20% on new games, Amazon is oddly removing re-releases and remasters off of that category to receive 20% off. This to me seems very odd. Of all games to remove this 20% discount to, you do it on re-releases and remasters? 
remasters? That is just weird to me because I feel that with re-releases and remasters, we are really incentivized on buying them with this 20% off discount because a lot of the times, these re-releases and remasters are priced a little too high. Look at the Burnout Paradise remaster. I was very vocal about that. But at least with Amazon Prime, you could get it for $32. Same thing goes for Dark Souls Remastered. The same thing went for Dragon's Crown Pro, and now to remove that 20% off discount? I just find those games to be an even harder sell. Burnout Paradise for $40, Dark Souls 1 for $40, Dragon's Crown Pro for $50. That just does not seem worth it to me. And this also begs the question, yes, they're removing it on re-releases and remasters, but does this also take into account like games like the Final Fantasy VII Remake? Various ports, are these games a part of that re release and remaster category we're still gonna have to hear more to understand the full ramifications of this but games like burnout paradise remastered games like dark souls remastered definitely the shenmue 1 and 2 hd remaster collection all of those games definitely fall into the category of re-releases and remasters and it looks like we won't be saving 20% off on that. Zone of the Enders 2 is being re-released on the PlayStation 4 very soon. It looks like we won't be saving 20% on that. This is just very unfortunate news to me. But at the very least, let's hope we can save 20% on the new new games for as long as possible. But at some point, I foresee Amazon removing that as well. So take advantage of that 20% off discount as long as you can because I think we did get a little spoiled by it. Moving on from that, we've been talking a lot about Cyberpunk 2077, and while we still don't have any gameplay footage yet, CD Projekt Red has finally begun to be more open about the game, talking about the game, when talking about the setting of the game, story, and of course, gameplay mechanics. The Cyberpunk 2077 Facebook page recently revealed some new gameplay details, and here's what it said. Quote, enemies won't always be aware of the player. The player can utilize this to their advantage by sneaking up on unsuspecting enemies, laying various traps, or deploying viruses. The plan of attack is just as important as executing it. We never force players to adopt any particular style of combat, so they're always free to use what they think is the best possible solution at a given time. From shooting through walls to bending bullets over corners, stealth tactics are also a part of your repertoire. I don't think that comes as much of a shock, but it looks like that Cyberpunk 2077 will have more depth in its gameplay than even the Witcher. The Witcher did have some depth in its gameplay, but with Cyberpunk 2077, I feel like being in that first person environment is really going to put a lot more power into the player's hands, and how you tackle this game is really going to be up to you. Gives me a little bit of a Deus Ex vibe with that quote, but before I make any conclusions, I really want to see that lengthy gameplay demo. Eventually, I imagine that will be released to the public, and then we will get a much better idea of the game itself. As far as when Cyberpunk 2077 will be released, CD Projekt Red has still said the game is a ways out, and it might be a few years before that game is even released, chances are, at this point, it is looking very likely that it'll be a PS4 and PS5 cross-gen title. It's a city of dreams, and I'm a big dreamer. And finally, one of the most surprising hits in terms of new game releases this year was definitely EA published A Way Out. That game did better than anyone could have foreseen, and now the director of A Way Out has confirmed that they are sticking with EA. Quote, it's no problem, it's super good support, I don't care what publisher I work with, it's gonna be the same, this is how I work. I respect with the economical aspect, but nobody beeps with the vision, it's very, very important, and they know it at EA now, and they're super supportive, super supportive. And as far as when this next game would be shown off, he said, quote, it's hard to say, but maybe in two or three years we show something. A Way Out was such a great game, so it's exciting to see that a new project will be funded by EA. Even though EA isn't our favorite publisher in the world, hey, they got a lot of money, and it's nice to see them funding some interesting projects. So that is going to conclude this video. Let us know all of your thoughts. Realm Royale is coming to the PlayStation 4. It's a brand new free-to-play battle royale already out on PC. It's in early access. You can give it a look there, but it will be coming to PS4 at some point. Shenmue 1 and 2 HD Remastered, the collection is coming to PS4 on August 21st, so that is something to be very excited for. However, what we aren't excited for is the fact that Amazon Prime no longer offers 20% discounts on re-releases and remasters. That's just really unfortunate news. And as far as 
sales on re-releases and remasters, I actually see this piece of news negatively impacting that greatly because again, I think a lot more gamers were willing to buy remasters like Burnout Paradise and Dark Souls Remastered for $32 instead of $40, but now for that full $40 price, I just think it's going to be a pretty hard sell on a lot of these remasters, especially with games like Dragon's Crown Pro. I don't know, maybe I'm overestimating the importance of this 20% off discount, but you guys be the judge of that. Cyberpunk 2077 will feature some sort of stealth mechanic, but in terms of how you play the game, it is really going to be up to you, and EA will be publishing a way out developer, Haze Light's next game. Sound off with all of your thoughts in the comment section down below. Thank you for watching, and goodbye.